Observation of reaction. Procedure. Place a few drops of white vinegar on a clean surface of the suspected meteorite. Reaction. If you observe fizzing or bubbling, this could indicate the presence of carbonates, which are common in earth rocks but rare in meteorites. Conclusion. Meteorites generally don't react strongly to vinegar because they often lack carbonates, which react with weak acids like vinegar. Two. Magnetic tests combined with vinegar. Procedure. Meteorites often contain high levels of iron and are usually magnetic. After the vinegar test, use a magnet to see if it's attracted to the rock. Reaction. A strong attraction to the magnet, combined with no reaction to vinegar, increases the likelihood that the rock is a meteorite. Conclusion. Rocks with high iron content that don't fizz with vinegar might be meteorites. 3. Check for surface texture post-vinegar. Procedure. Apply vinegar and observe the surface closely afterward. Reaction. Some meteorites have a fusion crust, a thin, dark layer from entry through Earth's atmosphere. Vinegar might clean off surface dust, making this crust easier to see. Conclusion. If you can observe a fusion crust after applying vinegar, it's more likely the rock is a meteorite. 4. Density and weight comparison. Procedure. After testing with vinegar, compare the density and weight of the rock to typical Earth rocks. Reaction. Meteorites tend to be denser than most terrestrial rocks due to their metal content. Conclusion. If the rock is unusually heavy for its size and shows no vinegar reaction, it might be a meteorite.